we didn't have any prior building experience. So we just started and then learned along the way. In total, for the whole house, we paid around 15,000 euros. Hey, my name is Thomas, this is Anna, and this is our dog, Luca. Welcome in our tiny house. Uh, we built this house together ourselves, and we used a lot of uh, refurbished materials, secondhand materials. Um, and we just want to give you a small tour of the house. Here's our hanger. We built ourselves as like these small branches sticking out and you can hang your coat. And we have an axe to chop wood for, uh, for the wood stove. And um, extra security. Yeah, extra Correct. security as well. <laughs> yeah, very, uh, very handy. And over here we have the kitchen. It has a normal gas burner stove, um, lots of drawers. So lots of uh, storage there and um, we made this step uh, ourselves just with plumbing parts and these uh, really cool uh, screws and it has sort of a look, wooden copper look to it and Anna is actually doing uh, pottery so she made these tiles for the kitchen so yeah quite a lot of it is custom made except from of course you know <laughs> suction and stuff. The best thing about designing and making a kitchen yourself is that you can build it exactly how you want to build it. So I always had the, the trouble when I, I'm chopping vegetables that yeah, you have to find the, the garbage bin. And uh, so we built in two, uh, two garbage bins underneath the countertop. So if you are chopping, you can just slide your uh, leftovers inside the bin. So we decided to put in a regular fridge with a freezer that's uh, quite some space and over here we have our pizza oven and we don't have a regular oven but um, we basically live on pizza so that's all we need and um, the house is all hooked up it's hooked up to the grid yeah so we have um, electricity water and plumbing the only thing we don't have is the internet cable so we use a 4g uh, a mobile phone connection uh, over here is our wood stove it's a pretty um, from, I think it's from Czechia. And this is the main uh, thing we use to heat during the winter. And uh, we also have a small electric heater for the bathroom. But uh, yeah, this thing uh, powers or uh, we can heat the house in just two hours time. So it's, uh, or half an hour actually. Yeah. Yeah, that one. How house is insulated with what and how thick? It's isolated with uh, isoflas, eight centimeters thick. Um, which is also like an eco eco material uh, and that's also in the floor and in the ceiling we have quite some storage underneath the house but we also snowboard and surf and kite surf so we have a lot more storage above the kitchen area but just to hide it we made these uh, curtains uh, so it looks a bit more clean we build a sky roof it's actually not glass but it's like a plastic it's like plexiglass and it lets in a lot of light, as you can see. So it was a really nice addition. What yeah. are the dimensions of the house and how heavy it is? Our house is uh, two and a half meters by 7.2 meters long. And uh, that fits just uh, within the limits that we can drive on the road. Um, and I think it weighs 3,500 kilos. We uh, drove it here with a, with a Land Rover so we could, I could drive it myself. That was quite nice instead of uh, hiring a company to do it. When uh, starting the, the design of this house, we started with uh, buying all the, all the windows. And I, I think we bought all the windows together for, I think, 300 euros. And then we started designing the house around the windows. Um, they recycled. Yeah, they're all, uh, yeah, we all upcycled them. Um, and yeah, then we started to design uh, the rest of the house and we wanted to keep the space very open so that's why we put um, the stairs all the way on one side and the kitchen and the bathroom all the way on the other side so um, here we still have an open space um, and if you look at the loft it's actually attached to the ceiling so um, to keep it as most open as possible we have still have the, the full height of the house over here um, and this is like the 
the room divider of the sleeping loft, uh, which has a closet on both sides. So on this side, you can see just our uh, prizes and coll collector's items. items. And from the other side, in our uh, bedroom, it's uh, our uh, clothing closet. Um, so basically, the loft this size is holding on the roof beam. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's just hanging on the on the roof. Yeah, it's uh, only beams. attached to that side of the house. Um, so that's uh, yeah to keep it a bit more uh, spacious. Spacious. Yeah. Exactly. So here we have uh, our tabletop, just to uh, eat on or to work on. And if we want the full space, we can drop it down all the way and remove the chairs, and then we have a full floor space. Here we have our uh, light over the table. This actually comes from an old factory. We just put a LED light in, and uh, if we open up the space, we can still lift it, attach it to the wall, and then nobody bangs his head into the light. So. I actually recycled it and put the LED. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a recycled old factory light. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. And then here we have our, our little birdhouse that has all our keys and some more keys inside just to keep it in one spot. Our table is attached to this um, cabinet. We have some more shelves inside. When we started living in this tiny house, we didn't have a, a dog. So uh, this was kind of a weird corner where we had this uh, electric cables and a power socket. A lot of stuff lying around. But then, then we've got this, uh, this extra uh, part of the family so uh, it was actually a good thing because we uh, yeah we created this uh, piece of furniture especially for her and uh, so we can keep all uh, the dog stuff in here uh, her food and we have some extra space for all your <laughs> snacks all your snackies <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, and also we created uh, yeah like a standing desk and we put all the, the cables inside this uh, little cabinet. So uh, all the ugly cables are uh, right here. And you can work on your laptop really nice for uh, yeah. like standing desk. This is our seating area and it's like a corner couch. And of course we can open up the bench to put more stuff inside. There's also an amplifier with some speakers built in. So when we're watching a movie or something like that, you can feel the sound from underneath. Uh, and over here we have like this fold down movie screen. And over there we have a beamer so we can uh, sit down and enjoy a movie. So here's just normal curtain? Yeah, it's like it this. Works a, a yeah, blinder. it works perfectly, yeah. It's a white uh, blinder. We do a lot of sports, which is uh, not very handy for living in a tiny house. So we have a lot of uh, surfboards, skateboards, uh, we have a canoe um, and a sub. Um, and most things we store underneath, of, underneath our house and some things uh, we store here. So this is uh, like a skateboard holder. Uh, these are the old, the leftover pipes we used from the tap, just reused the, the leftovers. Here we have a little uh, yeah, seat uh, food bench that stores all our uh, wetsuit gears and uh, some more surfboard gear. And it's like an extension of our couch because we, uh, yeah, after a couple of months we found out that our couch is uh, not big enough. So we just uh, made, a made an extra, extra piece. Yeah. Extra piece of couch. Over here we have our, um, our table just has uh, four ropes that we can attach to the ceiling. So if we want to have dinner here or for friends over, we can uh, hook up the table. Most people who uh, step into our house, they're like, how do you get up? But if you look a little bit more closely, uh, this is our uh, stairs. Um, and we wanted to have a little like cozy corner here. So you're underneath the stairs, but you can still look uh, through the yeah, through the stairs. So it's not like you're uh, in a little prison. Claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah. Um, and again, it's uh, one piece is attached to the wall and the ceiling and one piece is attached to the floor. So this way it's not one uh, huge... Uh, Furni piece of furniture. Yeah, piece of furniture. As you can see, it's, um, this part is hanging on the bed, which is hanging on, on, the, on the ceiling. 
just attached with a strong pipe. And uh, yeah, it ac also acts as a uh, storage space. Uh, so we have some more books and our laptops, etc. And that kit window you got from the box? Yeah, exactly. It's like an uh, old boat window and uh, has a nice story behind it. I forgot about it, but <laughs> it's an old boat window. But we and actually made it ourselves. It's like two boat windows uh, put together. And yeah, th this way we have we do have double glass. Yeah, it's isolated um, as well. Yeah. And the funny, <laughs> funny thing about it, if you're uh, putting on your pants and you're standing there, you're like mooning outside of the window. <laughs> Poor neighbors. <laughs> yeah. So this is our sleeping loft. And the nice thing about our sleeping loft is that we can still kind of stand next to our bed. Um, it's quite low, uh, but we do have a lot of uh, natural light. And of course, um, you can see it a bit better here. Um, but the yeah, it's like a floating loft. So it's uh, attached to the ceiling. Um, and we have a little bo balcony here, which um, makes it still very open, but you do have a real, like a separate uh, bedroom. So and the kitchen ceiling is a bit lower outside. And this is the top yeah. max to four meters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you look out of this window, you can just look over the whole, the whole roof. And what you see here, this is like the, the divider between the living room and the sleeping room. For us, the our uh, bedroom feels a bit like uh, a tree house. Um, and what you see here, the, the closet, we have quite a big closet, even with the a hanging closet. I think it's about uh, 60 centimeters uh, deep. And uh, we have quite a large bed. It, it's uh, like two meters by uh, 140. Because we sleep in the, the length, we can both um, uh, get in and out of the bed without uh, crawling over each other um, and yeah you can just stand next to the bed so that's really uh, it's also quite functional if you have to change the sheets or uh, have to go to the toilet at night behind this door is our shower there's a sliding door that slides away behind this wall it's actually front of wardrobe uh, door and it closes off the uh, the bathroom from the main room and then we here we have another sink small uh, small sink and a wooden oak wooden uh, cabinet to store some stuff and then regular flush toilet so we had this idea to uh, use a skateboard truck as a toilet paper holder and it holds two uh, two rolls of toilet paper so here we have some added some extra shelves store some more stuff and this is our shower as a glass sliding door and then the shower head and the tap we got, uh, it's from France actually, it's second hand and uh, yeah, works quite well. The size of the shower? I think it's 1 meter 20 wide and 1 meter 90 high. I'm 180 so I just fed and uh, yeah. And what did you use for the bathroom walls? So the bathroom walls are just these plastic fake look-alike uh, stone tiles just to keep the weight low and um, they work quite nice it's all waterproof and you're happy with them they're working great yeah i think it's uh it, it's relatively cheap uh, to build uh, with these tiles and uh, yeah just low maintenance uh, easy to clean thanks for tuning in all the social media from thomas and hannah i will leave in the description below and see you in the next one cheers bye, bye.